is a lot further of a hike than I remember. Whew, I think this is where we set up shop for now. And then if anything, we'll go along those rock trails. <laughs> Man, I'm excited to be back here at Quail Creek Anglers. It has been a hot minute since I've been out here. I try to make it out here at least once or twice out of the year. Dang, my glasses are all fogging up. But yeah, I try to make it out here once or twice out of the year and I'm super excited. Since October, I think 30th, they have dumped about 20,000 trout into Quail Creek. So we're hopeful to at least get one of those 20,000, but got three rods for me. Got my mini jig rod. Then of course I got my Guide Select Pro, I'm trying out that Thrucha Spoon again three gram and then uh, I'm gonna do a little slip bobbing I know I don't do a lot of slip bobbing but that figure here might be the perfect opportunity to try it so wish me luck we're gonna see how we do today all right I'm gonna keep tossing that lure around but you are allowed to fish with two rods out here so I think I am going to take advantage of that and try that slip bobbing method and I'm going to try to do some power bait. This isn't technically power bait. It's a different kind of doe bait. I've never tried it before but I always saw it, see it in that Bass Pro Sportsman Isle and figured I'd give it a try. This is this glitter trout, trout bait. The Mountain Wildfire. I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce the company's name because I'm probably gonna butcher it. Yeah, P-A-U-T-Z-K-E. So however you pronounce that, that's this bait. So we're gonna give it a whirl, try it on the slip bobber, and see how we do. <laughs> it's like Sherbert. Get a little bit of all the colors. Hey, we'll give it a whirl, see if it works. All right. Maybe I gotta throw something a wee bit heavier. So let's switch this out real quick. All right, in the past I've had really good luck with the heavier spoons so I think that might be what I have to do and I got those big heavier cast masters they're somewhere in here yeah let's go ahead and try this one real quick all right let's try this heavier cast master what I love about these spoons is you can toss them obviously super far. Sometimes these trout are just on the deeper end. felt something I think I felt a thump which is a great sign but so if I feel it again I might even throw the power bait or the dough bait this way see if I have better luck but I felt a little thump and then if anything we'll move on those rocks over here Thank you. 
There we go. Got one. I'm the good old cast master. <sighs> Finally. But he's all tangled up in my other line. <laughs> there we go. All right. No skunk at Quail Creek. Jesus. He is all netted up with my other one, though. Got one on the board. A nice little rainbow. <laughs> Thanks for the fight, bud. <laughs> All right, anglers, I couldn't access this side through those rocks right here, so. I just walked around, to try to get to a better spot. Cause I feel like the trout are gonna be right there. We'll keep an eye on the bobber. See if we can get find my footing see if we can get hit on the cast master again say that uh, I need to spool a new line on this one <laughs> after I had to chop it off because of the other mishap looks like I lost a ton of line oh well it is what it is This black and orange one does good. And this one's a little bit heavier than the one I was trying before. Trucha wise, this is a 3.5 instead of a 3, so I can get a little bit more out there, which I like here at Quail Creek. I'm gonna put a little scent on it, see if that helps. rub like that doesn't take a whole lot oh yeah you definitely smell that so let's see if that helps
finally. <laughs> it took forever. Finally got on a little trout. <laughs> Woo! It took so long I freaking sat down. It's been an incredibly long time since my last fish. Luckily, I got on one right now, and it was on that through chest spoon with a little bit of that scent. Who knows? Maybe that's a ticket right now. So we're going to keep throwing it out and see if we have any more hits. But yeah, I even sat down because it was just, it's been a really long time since my last hit. So happy to get on another one on the board. All right, that alternative is not working. I've had really good success with the power bait berkeley gulp or berkeley gulp whatever oh this stinks this might be the ticket right here all right re threw my power bait out there So we have some better luck. It looks a little bit deeper right here, so maybe I'll have better luck on the slip bobber, but still nothing. No more hits. Fish for a little longer and get out of here. No, I had a freaking bobber down. No, dang it. Oh, let's try it again. Dang it, can't believe I missed. sucks well let's try this again man the buy has just been terrible today anglers just two on the boards and so close to getting that one on the slip bobber i think that's the one i wanted to get on the most just because i haven't caught one on the slip bobber in a very long time so it's about 252 so we'll give it about 15 minutes then I'm done. Pack up, get on out of here. Hopefully we can get that power hour, power 15 fish before we get out. Ooh, well, that's gonna do it for us at Anglers here at Quail Creek. It was definitely a grind out year. Just two fish on the board and uh, missed one on that slip bobber. Kicking myself over that one because I really wanted to get one on that slip bobber. But really slow bite out here for me today, but still really enjoying myself. Enjoy these days where I'm just out in the water, getting to enjoy nature and, you know, just being out here, doing what we do and enjoying ourselves. Uh, always love coming to Quail Creek and, you know, 
Quail Creek is that place where I actually recorded my very first video for All In Fishing. So this is actually the two year anniversary for All In Fishing. So Quail Creek is always gonna have a little special place for me. So I just wanted to say thank you all that have been watching the videos, liking, commenting, all that fun stuff. I appreciate you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you so much. I always look forward to reading your guys' comments and then just liking what I do and enjoying what I do and what I put out for you guys. Uh, sometimes it is a lot of hard work putting all that content out, but I honestly enjoy doing it and just seeing your guys' enjoyment brings me a lot of happiness. So thank you all for the people that support, support what we do. And we're going to continue to try to keep putting out more content for your guys' enjoyment. And we're going to see where the next adventure is. You know, we had a lot of good adventures this past year. You know, from SoCal all the way to Beaver and all the places in between. A lot of good adventures this past year. And we're going to hope to go on some more adventures this coming year. Very hopeful to go to new places that we have not been before. And hopeful to catch <laughs> one of those big double digit willow stripers that is on the board hopefully and hopefully we get one of those lightning trouts that people are catching right now that's on the agenda not only that but we're just hopeful to go on some new places and make some great memories great adventures and of course bring you guys along for the ride and see how we do but thank you all so much for your support for subscribing to the channel and all that good stuff Again, it means a lot to me. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. And we'll see you on the next adventure. Thanks again, anglers. Peace. Well, I just lost that one.